Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Deborah Hatswell and you're listening to BBR Investigations. Was a Bigfoot creature photographed in Kent in July of 2013? The witness described what he saw as eight feet tall and covered in hair. How many times have we heard when sharing sighting reports a personal testimony? Why didn't you take a picture of it? Or if it was me, I'd have whipped my phone out and got it on camera. Well, in this case, our witness did exactly that. And he's provided BBR with that image. The photograph was taken in a small woodland near Upnor in Kent. On the 11th of December, 2023, I received an email from a gentleman who wanted to share an experience that happened to him in July of 2013, when he was on a visit to Upnor Castle in Kent. On the drive down to the castle, the couple had to pull over while the husband made a call in nature. Whilst answering that call, the husband saw what he described as an eight foot tall and very hairy being of some kind. Here's that account in his own words. Hi Deborah, I've only just found out about you and all the things that you do now. I have an experience I wanted to share and a strange photograph showing an upright hairy figure that I managed to capture as it was walking away in the woodland. This happened to me in July of 2013. I live in Rochester, Kent, and we were going to spend the afternoon at Upnor Castle. I suffer with MS and I don't always get much notice when requiring the toilet. We were only about half a mile from the castle, but we had to pull over as I needed to go. It's all army land around here, um, and the area I went into is private, but I didn't have an option. I stopped at the side of the road, got out of the car, and opposite me was a broken fence and a stile. I climbed over the stile just for some extra privacy and as soon as I stepped on the ground everything went silent and it started to rain very heavily. As I was answering my call of nature I could see something moving around in the trees out there. Being on private ground I just wanted to finish and get out of there, get back to the car and at this point I was soaked with rain. Then a very bad smell started to appear in the air. It was like the smell of bad eggs and I could see the trees moving slightly. Something made me brave and I thought I'd walk down the track a little bit and have a look. Honestly, what I saw, I will never forget. Even now, I'm not sure what it was. It could have been a soldier in full camo, but they would have been over eight feet tall and very hairy, as that's what I was looking at. I don't think whatever it was saw me, as it soon disappeared into the woods. I did have my phone with me, and I did take a quick photo, but by the time I was almost back to the style, so I was quite far away from it. Other than that, I'm unable to tell you anything else. Now the image taken by the witness seems to show a figure, which is very dark in colour, walking away into the woodland. Now I've not altered it in any way, other than to crop and enlarge the image so that you can see it better. And checking my files, I realise there are two other reports of strange creatures that were spotted by separate witnesses less than two miles from up North Castle. One was made in the 1940s and one was made in the early 2000s. I was also interested in the fact that this is another case on the east coast of an undisclosed creature that is taking place on MOD land. Now, the closest report that I know of happened at the very same road the couple stopped their car on. It took place several decades ago, and it's a very well-known report of a werewolf from Kent. Now, this comes from a story that's been passed down from generation to generation in the Shirley family from Kent. According to Pat Shirley, while picnicking in the area of Woodland on the east coast of England in the late 1940s, her grandmother saw a huge animal that looked like something straight out of an American werewolf in London. In this incident, the beast had what was described as flaming red hair all over it, and it possessed a pair of huge and powerful jaws. It was only seen for a moment or two before vanishing into the trees. Follow the river for about a mile and in the area of the Chatham Eight Man account, which happened in the early 2000s. A strange creature was reported by a young girl in Chatham, who was out with her partner when she saw the eight man appear off the side of the road in the scrub. And then the strange creature ran off into the bushes. If you look at the Medway route and the River Thames Valley, 
there are probably around 20, 25 reports of strange creatures that stretch all along that route. Um, and I have made videos on them before. They're actually in my uh, playlist if you want to go and check them out. But I will bring you as much information on this photograph as I can. As our witness said, he can't really tell us anything else. But there might be someone out there who could analyse the photograph and bring it out. Or there might be somebody out there who's also had a strange experience themselves in that area. And if you have, I would love to hear from you. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was a short one, but I know some of you enjoy the short ones. I'm going to try and make more of them for you going forward. And as the new reports come in, I will, of course, share them with you all. So until next time, have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm and away from the storm. And I'll be back next week. Good night, everyone.